Welcome, BMW enthusiasts, fans, and diagnostics lovers. In this video, we're going to look at which cable you should choose to diagnose your BMW. Either an IMPA K slash DCAN cable or a regular K line. It depends on what kind of car you have. If you're doing BMW diagnostics, then take both cables. You will need the K-Line cable for many cars, not only for BMWs, but also for all cars that have K-Line. That is, which are diagnosed through the K-Line. Now let's consider if you take for your car, not for work. I mean, for BMW owners. So, it depends on what kind of car you have. Up until about 2007, all BMWs were K-Line. That is, diagnostics, communication with the car was carried out through the K-Line. After 2007, the connection has already switched to DCAN. That is, communication with the car is carried out through two lines K-Low and K-High. So 2007 was a transition year. For all BMWs, These cars were two variants, both K-Line and DCAN. 2007 was a transitional year. As for the E65, those were all K-Line cars. There were no DCAN cars. Since the end of production of the E65 is the eighth year, and the transition to the DCAN when in 2007, BMW considered it inexpedient because of the year of production to transfer the car to the DCAN, and it was already to the end it was a K-Line. As for the XS, E70S, X5S, they were already initially DCAN because they appeared in 2007, just at the time when there was a transition to DCAN. So, let's take a look at what cable to buy for your personal car. As I said, if your BMW is pre-2007, take a regular K-Line. You won't need a dual-mode K slash DCAN cable as there is no Dean in your car. And why would you overpay? Now K slash DCAN cables have gone up in price 14 US dollars on AliExpress. While the usual K line price 4 US dollars on AliExpress. There are two kinds of them. The usual one, that is, the one that is more expensive, it is on the FTDI chip, but it costs more. Price 6 US dollars on AliExpress. But there is a cheap variant on the Chinese analog of the FTDI chip. This is the CH340 chip. Price 4 US dollars on AliExpress. You can even find it for 3, 5 US dollars. But on CH340, it also works normally. I don't see the point of overpaying for the FTDI chip. I have this one on CH340 and works perfectly well with K-Line cars. It connects without any problems. So this is the kind of thing, I'm telling you, there is no point in overpaying. If you take for your car, take the K-Line, if you have a car before 2007. By the way, do not pay attention to Vacuum, it is a universal K-Line. What Vacuum is written here, it is suitable for any K-Line cars. What BMW, what VAG makes no difference. So, take K-Line, if your BMW is manufactured before 2007. If your BMW is already after 2007, then here you need to take K-DCAN cable, as the diagnostics will be carried out via DCAN line of communication with the car. I think, everything is clear. What cable should I choose for diagnostics of my personal BMW? Not for work. For work, I say again, if you are doing diagnostics, you will need both cables, as you will need a K-Line anyway for any cars. Any brand. You will need a universal K-Line cable. I think we're clear. Subscribe to my Boosty there you can watch private videos and download my BMW diagnostic software. Links in the description.